Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's T. Chris, aka Taylor Christensen, and today I'm gonna be doing kind of a more serious video. got a suggestion from Naomi Lee to do I think it's Lee or Lay to do a video on my testimony which um, I've never been very good at summarizing it into a short version and it kind of takes me a long time to explain it I wrote down some notes here and so I'm gonna try to go through it in a bullet point format and it's gonna be kind of a shorter version if you don't know what a testimony is I mean I think a testimony can apply to anything but my testimony personally is how I have grown and formed my relationship with Jesus and um, being a Christian in my journey and what that's been like in my life so I'll start from the beginning I grew up in a Christian home I think that that was really good I had really godly parents that loved each other and loved us really well and loved God and that was really awesome so we had really good morals in our family always so I moved from Wisconsin to Washington with my family because my dad got a job as a pastor see this is where my testimony really comes to play here so my dad got a job as a pastor in Washington State so we moved here and we went to um, the private Christian school that was on the same campus as the church which is a really good school the things i'm about to share here are just my testimony and how it was hard for me to be a pastor's kid but i've had this conversation with other pastors and they've shared some concerns about um, it affecting their kids in the same way and i'm not saying that your kids are going to have the same story that i had which obviously ended up good but it was really hard for me to be a pastor's kid but like i think it just depends on the personality of the kid and um, how you raise them and stuff because it didn't affect my sisters in the same way But it was really hard for me. So my dad was a pastor at the church and he um, Would we would go early to church or to school with my dad and we would wait in his office until school started And then we would go to school and then we'd wait in his office after school and um, every day was you know, we studied the Bible and then I came home and then my parents asked me if I read my Bible and like they had good intentions um, but me being the youngest I kind of I don't know I think we're a little bit known for being a little bit more rebellious we kind of want to choose things for ourselves and not feel like anyone's telling us what to do then it was also like on Sundays pastors have to be there the whole time and their families have to be there the whole time and the kids are there the whole time and again this didn't affect my sisters but it really bothered me the older I got I started to realize that like I never really had my own relationship with Jesus and I just kind of lived off of what my parents had and the really annoying thing to me is when I was in junior high and we would be in like Bible class and stuff people would always expect me to have the answer and if I got it wrong they're like how can you get that wrong you're a pastor's kid and I'm like just because I'm a pastor's kid doesn't mean that I'm perfect I'm still a human and I'm still learning and I still need to choose Jesus for myself my parents relationship with God is not my relationship with God I don't know the more kind of the way I work the more I feel like something is kind of forced into my life and again my parents are good parents they didn't force Christianity but like that definitely was like all that my life revolved around the more I felt like I was consumed in it the more I didn't like it. That's definitely the age that you kind of start to question if God is real or not. And so I didn't really know if God is real. I never really felt him personally. I just knew all the right answers in Bible class and I knew what to say and I knew I knew how to pray. I knew all the right Bible answers, but like I had never really personally experienced God myself. So I didn't have a relationship with him personally. So I would say I wasn't really saved at that point. I had gotten saved when I was like four or something like that, but like I don't really think I really knew what I was saying at that point. I mean, I knew what it was, but I had never experienced God for myself and really wanted to choose that for the rest of my life. From there, I've gotten a lot better at this, but I used to totally be the type of person that if I was struggling with something, I wouldn't tell anyone. And I would just try to deal with it because I thought it was my problem. I didn't really understand the power of community and that you need to tell people like when you're dealing with something. I also felt like if I shared with anyone that I was questioning Christianity or questioning if God was real, that they would automatically judge my parents and their parenting which isn't true that was a lie that i believed i didn't want my parents to look bad so i never told anyone that i was like questioning it and i just struggled with it by myself which caused me to be very depressed because i felt like i was like living this very christian based life that i didn't really believe and so i just felt like i was stuck in someone else's life and i never really chose it myself so it was really hard for me because 
I started to get really depressed at that point and this was in like junior high about to go into high school um, and I had to go from this private school where I knew everybody to go to a public school where I knew nobody and I was going to a public school where I knew most people would not have the same beliefs as me which I didn't really have. I had the foundation but I didn't really know if I believed it myself yet so I was still figuring everything out and I was going to a new school and I wanted to go to a different school. My parents wouldn't let me. I never really rebelled or did anything bad. I never did like drugs. I never got like arrested. I never drank or anything when I was underage. I didn't rebel in that way, but I just like didn't necessarily believe what I was living my life to be, I guess. I would go to church all the time. I would go every week. I would go for youth group. I would go on Sunday mornings. I would tell people all the right things. I'd say like, oh, I'm really growing in my relationship with God, but, but like I wasn't. I didn't really care but I didn't want my parents to look bad so I never told anyone and yeah it was just like a vicious cycle. I would say the point that it changed which it wasn't like a huge drastic moment or anything that transition into high school was really hard for me too because I felt like I was really alone and I felt like I was alone because I didn't really I hadn't figured out like what I believed about Christianity yet but I wasn't old enough 18 years old to make my own decisions on like if I wanted to actually go. My parents still wanted me to go which I was out of love for them but I didn't really like it because I didn't believe it. Also I had to go to this new school, a public school, where it's not Christian and everyone doesn't have the same morals and beliefs and I had to make all new friends and it just was like really intimidating and I felt like really alone at that point and so I think that that was when it kind of changed because that year was also the first time I ever told anyone how I was truly feeling. I still don't really like to cry but back then it was like I never cried. I would never let myself cry. If I started to cry, I would stop talking about whatever I was talking about. That was the first year that I actually told someone how I felt and that I didn't really know if I believed in God. I didn't really know where I was at. I was confused. I was alone. I was depressed. I was like all these things just trying to figure my life out and also feeling like I never really got to choose what I wanted to do and also felt like I was stuck in this place of like everyone thought I had such a good relationship with God but I didn't really feel like I did but everyone thought I did and everyone thought I was perfect and they would say which is like also the danger of like telling I don't know like not allowing people to be honest and real with you like they're gonna feel like they can't be honest and real with you because that's how I felt I felt like I couldn't be honest with people because I thought that they would judge my parents so that was the first time that I think I because I felt so alone like I felt like God was the only option so I turned to God and like again there wasn't no miraculous like I just felt like I finally like felt God's comfort and I felt like what everyone had been teaching me my whole life and what I had been saying I was feeling my whole life I finally felt that and I don't know because there's not like any crazy moment but that was when like I realized that God was real because I had chosen him for myself and not just like because my parents were Christian yeah that was a big moment it was my freshman year of high school and I think it was because I was forced mm lovingly forced I think <laughs> my parents lovingly forced me into a really lonely situation where I knew nobody and I didn't know anyone that had the same beliefs as me and I just kind of had to like find my own way yeah that was when I turned to God and when I really felt like I had my own relationship with him and then from that point on I felt like it just kept growing and growing in different ways that's a whole other conversation that I could have if anyone's curious like how I how I know that God is real I don't know what you believe or why you're watching this video if you don't believe the same thing but I wouldn't ever force someone into believing that God is real it's kind of something that you have to obviously come to that decision yourself and have your own relationship with him and experience him yourself because if you don't experience him on a personal level like I don't think that you're gonna believe that he's real <laughs> but I've had way too many encounters at this point to like deny that you know sophomore year of high school I decided that I wanted to do YWAM when I graduated high school which is youth with the mission if you want to know more about that I can link something down below so you can look it up it's basically a six-month volunteer program that is a Christian uh, organization and it's non-denominational so like you can come from any denomination so I started saving up for that when I was in high school and then when I graduated high school I went and did that and that was where I feel like I did a lot of growing and like became who I really am in my relationship with God because I learned I would say the biggest thing I learned was that God cares more about your heart and like your motives behind things than he does about what you physically do and physically don't do because I think a lot of people think that Christianity is really legalistic. Some people are that way, but that's not really God's heart. That's not what Christianity is supposed to be. You're not a better Christian because you don't swear or you don't drink or you whatever, all this stuff. I don't think there is a better and not better Christian, but like 
I think God is obviously more glorified in the way that you love people and the way that you treat people and the way you encourage people and um, stuff like that. I just learned the importance of that because I think growing up I hated all the rules of Christianity. Like, there's so many rules but you have to understand the same way that parents have rules for their kids not to touch a hot stove because it's gonna hurt them and they don't understand that. Like that's the same reason that God has rules, rules for us because it's really for our benefit and he doesn't want us to get hurt and sometimes we just don't understand um, why we have different rules but it's really because he's just looking out for us and he knows what's best for us yeah <laughs> that's pretty much it i don't really know what else to say i've already been talking for a long time that's kind of the gist of it in a very like non-emotional way there definitely was a lot of emotions i was depressed for some few years and in and out and there was a lot of ups and downs but pretty much i chose god for myself my freshman year of high school and that's when i think i really have been pursuing him but before that it was all a show. I think a lot of people can relate to that. And again, like if you're a pastor's kid, it's kind of hard, it can be hard, but like I said, it doesn't affect everyone the same because my sisters didn't have an issue with it and I did just because my personality is different. Like I just really wanted to choose something for myself and I felt like I wasn't choosing it myself so that's what upset me. It's a good story now and I'm still growing and uh, it's been awesome and it's been super fun. My life has been like significantly more adventurous ever since I realized, I don't know, it's just so crazy. Like God created everything and he has more power over everything than like anyone or anything else in the world. So like when you realize that, I feel like life becomes a lot more fun and you realize the possibilities of everything is like so much greater and there's just nothing to be fear fearful of which of course I still have my moments anyway it's super fun being a Christian it's not boring I don't know why people think that but yeah that's my testimony so if you have any questions let me know I don't know why I'm out of breath that was just a lot of talking that's a more serious video if you have any suggestions post them down below and I will do them and uh, probably shout you out too and thanks for watching hope you have a good day <laughs> I'm sweating my room's really hot okay okay bye